Welcome to Python learning session of Enjoy Learning Computer Science. Today we are going to learn about the list operators, what are the differences and similarities between list and string and the various list manipulations. Yes? The first list operator is the concatenation operator plus. This concatenation operator is used to join two lists. Concatenation means join. It combines two lists. Okay. So, let's have a look at the example. L1 is equal to the list of 1, 2, 3. L2 is another list which contains the elements 4, 5 and 6. Now, let's join these two lists L1 and L2. When we join L1 and L2, the elements of L1 and L2 will be combined together, will be joined together in a single list. So, look at the output. 1, 2, 3, which are the elements of the first list. 4, 5, 6, which are the elements of the second list, which are combined together in a single list. So, list operator concatenation is plus. It combines two lists. The replication operator of a list is asterisk. This asterisk is used to repeat a list a specified number of times. So you have to give one list and one integer value. So the list will be repeated the given number of times, the specified number of times. So let's create a list. L is equal to 11, 22, 33. Now I want this list to be repeated twice. So you have to specify the number as well as specify the list along with the asterisk symbol. So 2 asterisk L. So the list L 11, 22, 33 will be repeated twice. You can see 11, 22, 33, 11, 22, 33. Uh, uh, let's create another list L is equal to hi smile now I want this list to be repeated thrice okay so I'm giving L asterisk 3 so hi smile hi smile hi smile so the number the integer value can be given either in the left side of the list or in the right side of the list so the replication operator of list is asterisk which is used to repeat a list a specified number of times Membership operators in list are in and not in. So in operator will return true if a particular element is present in the list. Otherwise it returns false. Not in operator returns true if a search element is not present in the list. Otherwise it returns false. So let's have a look at an example. L is equal to 2681035 is a list. Now I am going to check whether the element 5 is present in the list L. So 5 in L. It is returning true because the element 5 is present in the list L. Now in the next one, 1 not in L. So it will check whether the element 1 is present in the list. Yes, it is present. So here we are asked 1 not in list. That means it returns false because 1 is present in the list. Now 7 in L. So 7, the element 7 is not present in the list L. Hence, in operator will return false. 9 not in L. Yes, it will go and check whether 9 is present in the list L. No, it is not present in the list. So 9 not in L will return true. What are the similarities between strings and list? Yes, let's see. The len function. Len function is used to calculate the elements, the number of elements of a string as well as the number of elements of a list. So the len function is same for both string and list. String slicing, string indexing. So in string as well as in list, we are following forward indexing, backward indexing, slicing single elements, multiple elements, everything is same both in list as well as in string. Now accessing elements are same, membership operators in and not in. Both these operators are used in list as well as in string concatenation plus when we use concatenation plus with strings it combines two strings when we use plus with two list it will combine two list similarly replication operator asterisk when asterisk is used with string and an integer the string will be repeated a given number of times when it is used with list the list will be repeated 
specified number of times. So these are the similarities between strings and lists. So what will be the differences between a string and a list? Definitely it is mutability and storage properties. So string is immutable, list is mutable. Immutable means values cannot be changed in its place. Suppose I am declaring a string A is equal to apple. Okay, this apple will be stored in a particular memory area in the storage location. Now, I am going to give A is equal to banana. So, the apple string will not be deleted. It will be there. Banana will be stored in some other memory location. So, a, uh, apple will be stored in a different location. Banana will be stored in a different location. You cannot erase apple and you cannot store banana in that place that is immutability string is immutable okay now list is mutable you can change the element of a list in its place itself so i'm i'm giving l is equal to 1 2 3 instead of 1 if i want to change it to 100 in the same memory location it is possible to change the element 1 into 100 that because list is mutable so the difference between string and list is its mutability and its storage So the various list manipulations, the first one is append. What is append? Append is adding a single element at the end of the list. Append means add. Where it will add? At the end of the list. Okay. So append adds a single item at the end of the list. What is the syntax? The name of the list dot append within parenthesis you have to give the element which has to be added look at the example l1 is equal to a list of 23 33 43 and 53 i want to add an element 63 so i am giving the name of the list l1 dot append the element to be added within parenthesis is 63 now let's see what is l1 yeah 63 is added at the end of the list If you want to make any changes in the elements of a list, then you have to use update. Okay, so update is used to change an element, the value of an element in its place itself. Okay, so how will you make these changes? How will you update an element in a list? The syntax is name of the list, then specify the index of the element which has to be changed equal to the new value. Okay, name of the list. Within square bracket, specify the index of the element to be changed equal to the new value. Look at the example L1 is equal to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Now I want to change uh, 400. Instead of 400, I want to change it into 1000. So what is the index of 400? 0, 1, 2, 3. 3. 3 is the index. So, name of the list L1 within square bracket, the index of the element to be changed is 3 equal to the new value 1000. Now, let's see what is L1. Yes, 100, 200, 300, 1500. So, the element 1000 is changed in its place itself. 400 is removed and 1000 is changed. To remove an element from a list, then you have to use delete function. Delete is used to remove items from list. So the syntax is del. You have to use the keyword del, D-E-L. Del, the name of the list within square bracket, specify the index of the element to be deleted, to be removed. Okay. So now let's create a list. L is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now I want to delete the element 10. Okay, I want to delete the element 10. So, what is the index of 10? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, del, the keyword del, then the name of the list is L. Specify the index of the element to be deleted, which is 4. Now, let's see L. Yes, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. The element 10 is deleted. Okay, so the del function removes or deletes the item from a list. Now suppose if you want to delete a set of elements from a list, here also you have to use the del function. 
del then specify the name of the list within square bracket specify the range of the elements to be delimited okay you have to specify the range you have to give the index okay so starting index should be given and ending index also should be given so let's see l is equal to 4 1 0 11 5 9 3 2 so i want to delete the elements 0 11 and 5 so what is the index of 0 it is 0 1 2 what is the index of 5 3 4 so when i give 4 that index will not be included so i will give the indexes ending indexes 5 so del name of the list is l starting index is 2 ending index should be 4 when we give ending index is 4 that element will not be deleted so you have to give 5 okay now see let's see l yes it is 4 1 9 3 2 the element 0 11 5 or deleted now if you want to delete the entire list then you have to give del the name of the list so let's see l is equal to 13579 is a list now i want to delete this list so i'm giving del the name of the list is l now after deleting let's try to display the list l yes it is giving name l is not defined because the list l is deleted so with del function you can delete a single element specifying the single index or a set of elements specifying the range of index or you can delete the entire list by specifying the name of the list without specifying the index making true copy of a list now we are going to learn about what is shallow copy and what is deep copy now shallow copy is nothing but when you assign the same list to two variables what happens the list will point to the same memory location it will not create another copy it will use the same um, the memory location only so both the variables will point to the same memory location you can have a look at the example a is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 so a is the list now now i'm going to assign another variable to the same list so numbers is the other list which is assigned to the list a so what is numbers numbers also the same list 2 4 6 8 10 now let's see the memory location of these two lists so how will you see the memory location id function so id of the list a you see double two five eight double one two zero now let's check the memory location of numbers id of numbers that is also giving the same memory location okay it does not create another copy the two variables are pointing to the same list which is stored in the same memory location so this is known as shallow copy so assignment makes the two variables point to the same list to the one list in the memory that is known as shallow copy So what is deep copy deep copy will be creating independent list another list which will be stored in a different memory location okay so creating independent list identical same as another list is known as deep copy so how to do this let's create a list called p which contains hi hello welcome now i am going to create another list with this list using the list function okay i'm not assigning directly i'm going to use the list function so x is equal to list of p so what will be x x is same as p hi hello welcome now let's check the memory address id of p is double two five eight zero double eight zero what is the id of x it is double two five eight zero eight hundred both the memory locations are different so two new lists are created okay first we created one list then we created the other list using the list function when we create a list with the other i mean list function then it will be stored in a different memory location so creating independent list identical to one another list is known as deep copy it is not stored in the same memory location it will be created in a different memory location but the both the list will have the same elements identical elements Isn't it fun to learn new concepts like what is shallow copy, deep copy, uh, list manipulation, list operations and what are the differences and similarities between a string and a list, right? 
yes for further updates subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy learning computer science by you can share the link with your friends and make them enjoy learning computer science thank you bye bye